Hi everyone, I'm Elaine, and this is Naim, and we're from MSS. Singapore's average surface temperature has been rising at a rate of about 0.25 degrees Celsius per decade since the 1950s, and it is projected to continue to rise. Today, let's look at the factors that contribute to the higher temperatures and discover what is the urban heat island effect. Heat is primarily received on the Earth's surface as radiation from the sun. As Singapore is situated near the equator, we do not experience large variations in the day-to-day -day temperatures throughout the year. Singapore's temperature may, however, be influenced by our monsoons. In December and January, the northeast monsoon brings cooler winds from continental Asia, resulting in slightly lower average temperatures. In contrast, May tends to be the warmest month of the year. During this time, the intermonsoon period results in light winds across Singapore, slowing down the rate of heat dissipation. In May 2022, there were 13 days in which the maximum temperature in Singapore exceeded 35 degrees Celsius. On a smaller scale, there are local effects that influence surface temperatures. For instance, darker surfaces are good heat absorbers, while light-coloured surfaces are good heat reflectors. Land surfaces also heat up much faster than water bodies. Buildings and other infrastructure absorb and emit the sun's heat more than rural landscape features. Apart from incoming solar radiation, other sources of heat in urban areas include waste heat emitted by vehicles, appliances and industrial equipment. The result is that urban areas experience higher surface temperatures than surrounding rural areas. And this is the urban heat island effect. In Singapore, local academics have found that this difference in temperature between urban and less built up areas can be as much as 4 to 7 degrees Celsius and is especially noticeable at night when heat absorbed during the day is released. In addition, the skies above a city have a greater concentration of dust and other aerosols, forming an urban pollution dome, in which the suspended particles trap and reflect some of the outgoing heat, warming the surface even more. Across Singapore, MSS has a network of automated weather stations, which take regular measurements of temperature, rainfall, wind and other meteorological parameters. On a day-to-day -day basis, our meteorologists provide weather forecasts, including daily maximum and minimum temperatures, which you can access from my ENV app or our MSS websites. Our climate researchers use decades worth of data to identify trends in temperature and construct models to learn more about the impact of a warming world on our country. This is part of a whole of government effort to tackle urban heat and rising temperatures. You can find out more on the government's efforts and how we can all play a part in mitigating urban heat at the following links below. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've gained some insights into what drives urban heat in Singapore and how we can all tackle this issue together. We'll see you in the next episode of Let's Ask MSS.